previously on FS Mania. En route from Belém to St. Martin, Phenom 757 experienced a sudden loss of cabin pressure, requiring an emergency descent from flight level 430. Fortunately, we were able to isolate the problem to inadvertent dump valve activation. After a close-up and personal view of Barbados, we were able to continue our flight to St. Martin, landing uneventfully. I notified Embraer of our pressurization problem and they immediately dispatched a crack team of ace jet techs to St. Martin. While I was waiting for the jet to be repaired, I hitched a ride with Big Red's Island Tour Company. We took a nice relaxing trip around the island, saw all the major sights. As beautiful as the island is, I just couldn't get enough of hanging out at Airport Beach with a lot of other aviation spotting enthusiasts. There was plenty of eye candy to keep me from getting bored while I waited and waited and waited for the Embraer technicians to scour over our jet troubleshooting the problem. Here's one of our mechanics now. Let me ask him how long it's going to be. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Mr. Santos? Could you tell me how much longer before we can leave for Fort Lauderdale? I have a lot of anxious people waiting in the U.S. for this jet to arrive. Sir? Excuse me. Sir? Sweet mother of Jefferson Davis, with all the activity of this beach, it's a wonder anything gets done around here. Here's another of Embraer's jet techs. Hey, how's it going? Just checking to see when we might be able to head toward Fort Lauderdale. Hello? Hey, hello? Okay then, maybe I'll just go watch a few more planes while those guys wrap up operations. Finally, the Embraer technicians discovered the problem. It turned out to be a defective dump valve flux capacitor, just as I expected. They had a spare sent in from Venezuela. I'm pretty sure it came by sailboat. At any rate, we're all set to fly to Fort Lauderdale. So, climb aboard, buckle up. Here we go. Clearance Phenom 757 X-Ray Mike requesting IFR clearance to Fort Lauderdale International, Kilo Foxtrot Lima Lima. Phenom 757 X-Ray Mike, here to the Kilo Foxtrot Lima Lima Airport via radar vectors to juice Dennis Bryant. Climb and maintain 3000, expect 11,000, 10 minutes after departure, contact Juliana Departure, 128 decimal 905 Squawk 0316 7X Ray Mike is clear to the Fort Lauderdale International Airport via radar vectors to juice, then it's filed, climb and maintain 3000, expect 11000, 10 minutes after departure, departure frequency 2895 and 0316 on the squawk. Phenom 7X Ray Mike, read that correct. Contact Juliana Tower 118.7 when ready to taxi. We'll give him a call on 18.7. Thanks much and have a good one. Morning, Juliana Tower, Phenom 757 X ray, Mike, ready for taxi. Phenom 757 X ray, Mike, Juliana Tower, good morning. Information Charlie is current, runway 10, taxi via Alpha 
Juliana Altimeter 2983. Runway 10 via Alpha for 7X Ray Mike. Okay, here's our takeoff briefing. I will be the pilot flying. This will be a departure from runway 10 with a right turnout and radar vectors to juice. Initial altitude of 3000, which is set in the window. We will do a standing takeoff with a thrust assurance check when lined up on the runway. That'll give the folks on Airport Beach a bit of a thrill. Flaps are set to flaps one, so V1 and VR are 107 knots. V2 is 116 knots. Takeoff speeds are set in the window. Prior to 70 knots, the takeoff will be rejected for any amber or red cast message between 70 knots and V1. I will only abort for an engine failure, loss of directional control, or any other malfunction that may compromise the safety of flight. If we lose an engine after rotation, I will continue the takeoff, accelerate to a minimum of V2. Takeoff, okay. Leave flap set to flaps one. Perform a climbing right turn to a signed heading and a minimum safe altitude of 2,000 feet. Climbing through 1,000 feet, I will declare an emergency and request vectors for return to St. Martin or the nearest available runway. I am going to leave flap set until we complete our right turn after departure. Are there any questions? If not, here we go. Tower Phenom 7 X-ray Mike holding short, 1-0, ready to go. Phenom 7 x Mike Wincom, fly heading 180, runway 10 cleared for takeoff. 180 on the heading and cleared for takeoff, Phenom 7 x Ray Mike. Takeoff power set. Gauges in the green. Seventy knots. Rotate. Vertical speed, altimeter, positive rate, gear up. Right turn, Clyde. Y'all damper on, heading mode on, flight level change mode on, autopilot on, reduce power, power coming back, we'll keep our airspeed down since we're currently heading the wrong direction. Pin on the X-ray, my contact Juliana, departure, have a good time. Over to departure for 7 X-ray Mike, see ya.
Juliana departure, Phenom 757, X ray Mike, 1500 for 3000, heading 180. Phenom 757, X ray Mike, Juliana departure, radar contact, now heading 120, vectors for traffic maintain 3000. Left to 120 and maintain 3000 for 7 X ray Mike. Wait a second. Oh crap. Looks like we're losing the number two engine. Phenom 7 X ray Mike declaring an emergency. Request vectors and descent to the nearest airport. I love the traffic. Stand by. Phenom 7 X ray Mike saying part is at your trouble track 12 miles. Descend. Palace discretion to 2000 when able. Say nature of your emergency. Discretion down to 2000. We lost our number two engine, Squawk King 7700, Phenom 7 X ray Mike. Okay, I guess we're going to make an unscheduled stop at St. Bart's. Let's get them dialed up. Nearest airport, get a cursor, scroll to Tango Foxtrot Foxtrot Juliet, direct to. Cast messages letting us know there's no oil pressure for number two. 2100 19 foot runway. This has probably never been done before. And back to our main map. 15 mile zoom should work. Hello, St. Bart. Nine miles out, passing through 2600. Phenom 7X ray Mike, when able, save fuel and source aboard. 800 gallons, Jet A, one soul on board. Safe frequency for St. Bart, 7X ray Mike. Phenom Let's check everything on the panels. Bart, All the left console switches one, look good. One, Oxygen one, off. Four, fuel pumps auto, cross feet off. 1845, 7X ray Mike. I'll leave the right hydraulic shutoff valve open in case I have time for a restart attempt, although I probably will wait until I land to be sure the flux capacitor isn't acting up again. Engine 2, stop. Right power lever, idle. Phenom 7 X ray Mike turn left heading 100 vector for right downwind right 28 descend and maintain 1000. Left to 100 down to 1000 for 7 X ray Mike. We're right downwind, runway 28. We'll be coming up here and turning a right base. Then right turn to final. Looks like a beautiful day in St. Bart's. All lights are still on. Check. Eighteen forty five for the Unicom. P 
Pin on 7, X-ray back, turn right, 2190, right space for runway 28, report speed inside. Right to 190, 7 X-ray Mike will report the field. We have the lagoon at the end of 28 in sight, 7 X-ray Mike. Pin on 7 X-ray Mike, change to advisory frequency Here approved. Here coming down. Report cancellation this frequency of flight service line. Good luck. We'll go ahead and cancel with you now. Thanks for your help. 7 X-ray Mike, so long. Switching to St. Bart Chinacom, flaps 2. Time to ditch the autopilot. Well done, George. Autopilot. I'm expecting strong yawing to the right dead engine. Feeding in left rudder. Flight director off. Right turn to final. Keep it above 120 knots. St. Bart traffic, Phenom 757 X ray Mike. Three mile final, runway 28, engine out emergency. Speed's coming back. Runway in sight. 500. Thank you. 500. Four hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. Those are erroneous call outs passing over these hills. Three hundred. We'll try to just miss these trees. 127 knots, 520 feet. Flaps full. Two hundred. Forward pressure. Two hundred. Speed bleeding off nicely. Two hundred. Line up. One hundred. Easing off the right rudder. Watch out, Mr. Jogger. Power idle. There's the popo. We're down. Maximum braking. Hold the center. Oh, Nelly. Brake. Brake. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to St. Bart's. Flaps coming up. Okay, not my best landing, but we will walk away. One hundred. We'll just follow this yellow line and park right over here in front of the terminal building here. I know you're probably thinking we're never going to get to Wichita at this rate. 
seems like one thing after the next, but don't worry, we're going to make it, I guarantee it. Let's just get everything shut down here. And we'll go ahead and climb on out. Fine folks here at St. Bart's have already got my door open. Thank you very much. Hmm. I think I smell the brakes on this jet. I don't see any emergency equipment. No, wait. I did see a fire truck. Everything on the plane seems to be okay. No worse for the wear. I had to plant her down pretty firm, about like a carrier trap. How long was that runway? 2100, 2200 feet? And with that hill on the end, there's not much room for error to say the least. I don't see anything dripping from the number two engine. Everything still looks like it's in one piece. That's good. All right, just sit tight for a minute. I'm gonna go in and call those Embraer jet techs over at St. Martin. I'll try to catch them before they head back to Brazil, which shouldn't be too hard, being as they don't seem to be in too much of a hurry. I'll be right back. Alrighty then, good news. The Embraer jet techs flew over on a chartered twin otter and have repaired our engine. It wasn't the flux capacitor this time as I suspected, Apparently, Embraer FADEC programmers are still using a 32-bit architecture operating system, thereby causing an OOM, or out-of-memory error, in the fuel logic program. The out-of-memory error caused a system crash and engine shutdown. Now, they tell me all they had to do was reboot the FADEC problem fixed, and we're all set to go. I had them pump almost 700 gallons of Jet A out of the tanks to reduce our takeoff weight by about 4,500 pounds. That should help us get this thing airborne before we hit the beach on the end of the runway. We're going to go ahead and head back over to St. Martin, top off our tanks, get a fresh pair of um, underwear before taking off for Fort Lauderdale. The Jet Techs tell me they did a very thorough check and we should have no more problems, so... You better buckle up tight, because this is going to be a short field departure for the record books. Glad you were with me on this flight. Glad everything turned out. I'm okay. You're okay. We're okay. We're going to Fort Lauderdale. We'll see you very soon. From FS Mania. So long.
Adam 7 Extreme Mike, change to advisory frequency approved. Good luck.